Charlie, ni pebi a Jimmy o. This country na. So the 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 Arise Ghana demonstration has turned violent. To no surprise of mine, of course it was gonna happen. I mean, this demonstration saw so much pushback. They didn't want it to happen, and when they finally permitted it, they gave specific instruction where it was supposed to start and where it was supposed to end. The places they cannot use, like they can't use the main road, they cannot use the main road. But of course, people were gonna disobey and pay the consequences, and it has happened. Now, if photo and videos have gone viral, one particular a man's eye. Charlie just a papa, papa in your pipe. Actually, check out this image. Look, look at this nonsense. Look at this. This might just be like, yo. Who knows if he can be? Who knows if some other serious thing wouldn't come of it? This is a very sensitive part of the body. As we're watching now, who knows if later he won't lose sight in that eye? I don't even know if right now he can see through it. Similar thing happened in 2015. Similar thing. In the same way, this Arise Ghana thing. Somebody has paid a price. Somebody go collect in quota. Or the call the situation bottom. The person where you fight for on the man and the yen and the mugu fee, they enjoy themselves. Where Jimmy only mean sent you go do these things. Papa Penny, this Sammy Jemfi guy, this Sammy Jemmy boy can even be your, your son. And I'll walk fast. You follow children and you go risk yourself like this. How? Man, what happened has taught you people nothing, absolutely nothing. Somebody lost an eye. You voted them out. Now the one you they were fighting for to bring in power is currently in power. Misbehaving more than the one they voted out. So now you people are risking yourself again to vote this one that you voted to come in power. So you can vote him out and bring the other one who you voted out, risking yourself again. And I, the sad part is, with all this said and done, it's not like they, when they get to the pool, scry, there's gonna be something better that will come out of it. In Kwasia mistake, yeah, now you people will still go and make. You still vote for those two terrible options who've been screwing us over, who've been screwing us over since JJ time. Kumi, dumb, demonstration what came out of it occupy gun what came out of it arise gun what came out of it the vulnerable people the idiots the people who suffer the most in this country but still allow themselves to be used by these people they are the one who pay the price either somebody dies somebody is maimed in this demonstration yes the leaders or more modern people to call they will achieve what they want to achieve. I could for the way you fight against right now. Kumi, Kumi Prakun demonstration, he was the one who led it. People died in that demonstration. And now he's in power misbehaving. You will go, you will go die. His children, their family members, 10 years, 20 years times, their children, their family members will be ruling us again. Your children, your grandchildren, stupidity, Jimmy Fomu, they will still also go and raise themselves. And they will also be killed or maimed. Just so they can shuffle between NDC and PP till that kingdom come. I hope you know, if you people alone, we go through them, and we all go through them. What can you do about it? This demonstration, this was a failure, a success for NDC, because everything they wanted, a violence. Demonstration is exactly what is exactly what an opposition in government needs. The suffer we all the suffer we all the go through them. Things are hard. What can you do except wait for uh, three years, twenty twenty four, and go exercise your rights? 
and again and okra okwa you exercise any knowledgeable right to be a okwa is then quasi a mistake we've been making since Kwame Nkrumah died the same crop of parties who've been screwing us over UP PNDC change their name and this MPP the same group of people it is for this decades the same group of people you people have learned nothing you still go John Q stand in the scorching sun all day long some people could have stay there sleep at dawn wait for morning mosquito go bite them they go get malaria they'll go vote malaria and promise alcohol hospital health insurance and cover through paper they will, they will end up using money from their pocket to kill to treat themselves because they went and slept at the polling station and stood in the scorching sun and got sick all to vote for the same group of people who come and screw them over who come and screw their children over who come and screw their grandchildren over just see a jimmy to the point in this country oh john who cramp on jazzy and i went into the comment section and luckily um nipe nibi some people are wise up because most of the comments have seen the tricks that is going on also such a journal says what is the meaning of all this how will you gather people to be maimed all in the name of demonstration you knew there will be casualties yet because of someone's presidential ambition a father and probably a breadwinner of his family is about to lose an eye as for ghana police the least said about them the better don't you ever get tired of occupying front page of newspapers and news headlines well there were two pigs in the other pigs the police officer has been pelted with a stone bleeding from the ear so i don't know if they were defending themselves or not in any way in any case a hey, jimmy papa penny you go follow a young boy at oyemu ba like semi jam you go follow i'm go lose an eye only me answer oh pro 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 seven december ba nkwasi abana asa akwa akwa to all of you the amam kwa kwa to am end the same people these same people will come and rule you they will change presidential candidates they will change one or two things but at their core they still remain the same people they don't give a shit about you kwabina j says your foolishness has led you absolutely kwabina s yedu father says mr justice ajay kuma was shot live bullet in his eye in 2015 under mahama and later died all ndc guys and their national executives were so happy okay the latter of that comment is stupidity and nonsense but the upper part the man I was talking about, Mr. Justice Sajikuma, the man who got shot in the eye, that's his name. He got shot in the eye with a live bullet. But Yalukoda Hospital, of course, they will come and be on TV for the what's it called? Just for press reaction. Just but said they give a fuck. They don't really care. They made some small donations here and there. At the end of the day, the man died a miserable death because he followed up a group who pretended that they gave so much of a fuck about this country and now that a government is in power and is doing worse than the previous government do you hear of them again no why because they were pawns to the big game just like the way this arise ghana thing this arise ghana thing quite you don't need, you don't need to think much about it because ndc communication officer is leading this thing it's not proof to let you know it's politically inclined but of course in Kwasi Afon Baba that they defend they say it's not politically inclined they are fighting for Ghana. Why are you kidding? And Papa Pen you know what could in Kwasi Afu H then you Charlie Sadat May says can we please suffer together as we as we wait for twenty twenty four don't get killed let's think now what option crowd do you have? What option do you have? Eleven you you complaining complaining we we cried we moped we whined it is still past it. Cathedral, everybody, even pastors now, they say, you know, they hear. There are more important things at stake. You know, they hear. Are they listening? No, they don't give a fuck. They're going to implement it because it's loot and shit. They are going to steal the money. They're going to do whatever they want. The only time you can make a change about it is during elections. And Okra, again, you still go and vote for the same question for now. So why go and risk yourself like this? If what I'm says, it seems most of you don't understand. It's rather the police who got injured. The, the police got injured, that guy too got injured. I don't know if it was that guy that pelted the police with a stone. Either way, this demonstration was a chaos 
set to happen. This was going to happen because there has been friction back and forth since yesterday, since earlier this morning, within the, uh, within, within the updates on Twitter. The police say this, they say that, they go to court, they do these injunctions here and there. Police give specific orders, but of course, they are going to defy it. And from some tweets I'm reading, when the Yawa Pai and uh, Gidi Gidi Neba Sami Kenfi Pa, or I see you get here, you know, my jelly every war. They run. Yeah, I have a straw hospital. Now the camera, Baba, 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 just because someone is sitting at home with his or her family enjoying themselves and pushing the youth to fool, just because they get some useless youth to do this unnecessary demo, as at their case and all part, oh, when you die, you die, nobody cares for oh, this country. Like, have you not seen that GIG, GIS prom videos? The, the, the big kids, they are shut that, how fly they look, how much they are having fun. People we your politicians, some of them are case with those case in that video. People with their parents have made better investments in them to enjoy the fruits of their labor. Then be that. You don't want the same for your you don't want the same for your kids. You don't want the same for yourself. You wanna follow these morons, these people who don't give a shit about you and risk yourself and die. Now now I'll say is Fighting for someone, father, bro, and greedy people to get job, and you go through suffering in the end is stupidity. I remember this demonstration. Let my vote count. One guy lost his eye and eventually died. And it's so stupid. It has to be like this has to be the most stupidest thing. Like when you think about it in in real life, like in real life in any job situation. Imagine. In what job situation in real life will you go risk yourself so that somebody will get the job and be paid for that job? Who paid man will be? You go risk yourself. Somebody came, was a complete failure, but because somebody is now in government, who is just, who is much more failure than the past one, do you go risk yourself in demonstration because you want to bring that failure back because this failure is more of a failure than the previous failure. When you have trash in your house, don't you just throw out the trash? Do you go throw out the trash currently in your house and go bring the one you threw away from one week ago and bring it back? Because the ones you because the ones you have in your house is more stinkier than the one you threw out before. No, you throw both of them out and you let both of them stay out. You don't go bring that past trash back. You see, Tia Adam says if you don't like if you don't love your life join demonstration instead of using the time to find something productive to do you are lucky you still have your eyes not the, the modern Mohammed's era that someone i was lost was destroyed and later died go and heal your wounds while beneficiaries enjoy ike hagan says beneficiaries are sleeping yeah i doubt it beneficiaries are celebrating it's a success i say again in our eyes this is a failure because of the violence and everything that happened but a violent or a failed demonstration is a success for the opposition in government. Same way that let my vote count the demonstrations and the brutality that followed played a part in Mahama losing the election. Same way they are aspiring that this one also have an effect. This won't be the last there will be demonstration that follow. And Jimmy Fokwa could be actually they will be injured, they will be killed. It will happen. This we we visit the demonstration where we are Jimmy's cash and bottom. You go risk yourself and die. That's a beer in the trip. As I bear my says, meaning they attacked the police and they also used maximum force. Possibly. Mr. Leo says, Mahama, where you people fighting for is living luxury life wherever he is. Just wait for 2024 with thumb. Simply ABC. People are prone. Again, they will come and tell you this is not about politics. They are fighting for their rights. You are not fighting for nobody's rights. You are just a pawn in the grand scheme of things. You use you keke. 
an ends to a means. That's all you are. They don't give a fuck about you. Well, you go risk yourself, you die, you leave your children. Papa, you are 2015. I'm sure he has family members who missed him a lot now. And probably when they see this is on the, this on the news, we will be giving them flashbacks, and they will think to themselves: only if he had done something different that day, only if he hadn't gone out. And now your says, "Old man, you won't find some place to sit when the energetic ones are demonstrating. You also join like they remove your eyes, you learn sense." Nelson says, "You want to kill yourself for a politician." Chris Mean says, you go pelting stones at the police and you expect flowers in return. Darko says, what is the sense in getting hit? Would this eye reduce the cost of kinky or reduce fuel prices? Ah, and Radi Baby Nee. Charlie. Charlie, it's sad. Now, the sad part is like this absolutely, well, Little to nothing, and I'm being optimistic here. Little to nothing will be learned from this thing. If the idea is see one person could have learned something from it, there are thousands more who will gladly go next to go join another politically motivated demonstration and go die a foolish death. Charlie, if you go subscribe, subscribe. I tire for this country.